if you have received the same goods as per the PO, we can post the post them into the MIGO. If you have any uh, damages in that, we have to uh, we have to we will have to return them. Okay, when we post the MIGO, uh, entry will be like here inventory account data to GRIR account invoice Miro. When organization receive the bill from the vendor. Invoice receipt is posted in SAP using T code Miro. Um, when vendor, vendor uh, sends the bill, that time we will post the invoice here. The GRI account that to vendor account. Payment to vendor. Here for the payment, FI, FI M, uh, sorry, FI. Uh, SAP implemented a successful pro, uh, project that is we can say automatic payment program. By automatic payment program, when we pay the uh, amount to the vendor by check or bank transfer by, uh, by any other uh, by way, we can see the entry like this vendor account data to bank sub GL account. When we get the bank statements, electronic bank statement like MT and MT40 or BAPI um, or any other format. If you will load, uh, load it in uh, for the recalculation process in SAP, automatically uh, entries will be recalculated like this bank clearing account data to main bank account. If you want to, if you pay directly uh, in FB, uh, B53. Uh, at, the, at that time, we can uh, get the main bank account data right to vendor account. <coughs> FIMM integration. FIMM, FIMM integration happens in the goods receipt. There, we will get uh, two types of accounts. One is made, one two types of documents. One is uh, material document and FI document. We can see them in a, by using FB03 or uh, we can see the environmental process, the relationship browser. And also we can see the uh, standard price or moving price in the uh, material master accounting fee, accounting fee tab by pressing after accounting tag and whatever value classes is all through there. Based on some factors, FMM integration will be happened using T code OBYC. Uh, by using uh, transaction codes in your OBIC and adding uh, GLs to the transaction codes, uh, the entire, uh, entire FIMM integration will be happen by uh, determining the GLs to the uh, transaction keys. Here we can see some factors uh, to integrating the GL, transaction key, valuation key, general modifier, Valuation modifier, material type, moment. Uh, we will explain one by one. Transaction key. We can see the transaction key in OBYC for integrating the GL for automatic for posting. It is used to control the storage of filling document and assignment of documents by using BSXC, PRD, uh, PRD, WX, GBB, FRA. These are all the uh, these are all called uh, transaction transaction code through transaction key. FIMM integration will be happened here. Valuation class. Valuation class. Uh, every material must have valuation class field that could be raw material, semi semi finished goods, finished goods. If your uh, your organization is uh, uh, maintaining uh, trade uh, trading goods only, yeah, we will have to sell. Uh, or we will have to maintain the finished goods only. And also, we can maintain. We will have to maintain the standard price only for the finished goods and semi-finished goods. Well, when, uh, for the raw material, we will have to maintain the uh, moving average price here. The combination of valuation class plus movement type determines the GL type of valuation class. Valuation class is nothing but classifying the assets. Uh, sorry, classifying the Goods 
by using sap standard one 3000 raw material 7900 for semi finished goods 7920 for the finished goods by copying them uh, by copying them as this we can create or classify our uh, goods into as per the as per the company's requirement general modifier it is only used for with only three transaction fees gbb prd k1 these are all for the offset entries general modifier it helps to post uh, post different vls with the same transaction key by using a of psa vax vay these are all called i think uh, values modifiers it is also known as a valuation grouping code we can when we go for valuation modifier it is also known as valuation grouping code we can active uh, valuation modifier using t code omwm there we will assign valuation grouping code to our valuation area as plant or company with the chart of accounts for example if you want to maintain uh, uh, the material as plant wise or company code wise we have to group them all GLs are, uh, uh, we, uh, we have to maintain uh, separately. That time you will use the valuation modifier. These are called, I think, general modifiers. Movement type. All material movements in MM happens with respect to movement type. Goods for goods received, movement type is one, 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 not one. Goods issued to production order, Movement type 261, scrapping of goods, movement type uh, 551, goods delivered to customer, movement type 601, initial upload to stock, movement type 561. Material type, each material should have assigned material type in material master record. It is used to update whether changes made in a quantity are updated in material master record and changes in values also updated in stock account. ROH. ROH used for the raw material, HALB for the semi finished goods, FERT, finished goods, HAWA, uh, trading goods. These are the predefined uh, uh, material types in SAV. By copying them, we can create uh, as per the company's requirement. Uh, <coughs> these are used when we create the material master. Primarily, we, we, will, we have to maintain. I uh, mentioned here we, uh, while we uh, create the material master. Yes, this is all about uh, FI, uh, P2P and FIMM integration. Thank you for the opportunity to our channel. Sir.